a lot of my YouTube subscribers and fans. Um, sorry guys, I've been absent from YouTube for quite some time now. Um, I have been pretty busy with work. Um, you know, a lot of websites to create. I'm creating this huge dating website at the moment right now. So um, I've been pretty busy with that. Um, but you know, one of my subscribers has been asking me, a few of them actually, hacks me out to create the back button. You know, like just put a regular button on your website that makes it go back to the previous page that you had, uh, you were on. Um, let's jump into say I'm on Twitter and just consider me pasting this code into the web browser as you clicking on another button and moving forward. Okay, so we move forward and you want we want it to go back. So I create a back to previous page, just name it back to previous page. If I click back to previous page, it goes back to the previous page it was, and that's what they wanted to learn how to do. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Okay guys, so I'm I have a button here um, that I create uh, in um Fire ah, Dreamweaver. <laughs> so it's just a simple link. I just make it look like a button with a few codes. Um, and just in the link area of the button, where you normally link it to a page or something like that, um, we're going to type out the code to make it work. So we're going to type Java script and we're going to do a colon H I S T R O I ah, T R O Y history. That's what I'm trying to say. JavaScript history dot go and we're going to type a open bracket minus one so we're telling it to go back to the previous page pretty much and a bracket again we're going to do a quote as in that whole quote thing and we're going to do on on mouse uh, is it mouse out uh, mouse over i think on mouse over i just did this i should have remembered and we're going to do the equal sign, and we're going to do a one more quote again. And we're going to do self, and self.status. And once, uh, we're going to do dot, R-E-F, E-R-R-E-R. -R -E -R. We're going to do a semicolon for this. We're going to do, uh, we're going to say return. So it's R-E-T-U-R-N. And we're going to do a space and we're going to do true. And I believe that's where the cookie crumbles. So I'm going to save this and see if I'm right. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'm going to get a knock upside the head because uh, I, I, I should remember these out of my brain. Um, give me a moment. Let's see. Uh, there we go. So now we have this page. I'm going to copy the code. I'm just going to browse to any website um, pretty much. Uh, let's just say Twitter. And this is just. This count as we click on a button and we move forward so let's just say we move forward and when i paste this i'm going to paste this in this is moving forward so we go forward and we need to go back to the previous page there we go back to twitter um again so that's how you create a back button on a, on a website to go back to a previous page code will be in the descriptions um i will also paste a link over the video so you guys can see what i type so you guys will at least learn how to do this thanks for watching and i hope this helps for all the people who wanted to know i'm out